So I created this collage effect for a client, and in doing so, I came up with a vastly better workflow for Magic Mask for catching those troubled areas that Magic Mask seemed to have trouble with, especially like corners and things like that. But before I get into the video, however, I want to let you know that my editing contest is still going. You have until the 25th, which is this coming Sunday, to submit your entries for a chance to win a slew of editing assets and presets and plugins for me, Motion VFX, and others. For more details, there's a link in the description down below. So now I'm in Fusion, I'm gonna grab a Magic Mask and then select the part of the subject that I wanna keep. Just a quick tip, if you're making multiple selections, you can uncheck Post Multiply Image and you'll be able to see your image again. So now that I'm done scribbling on my subject, I'm gonna go click on Better, then I'm gonna recheck Post Multiply Image, then I'm gonna track back and forward. Now one thing with Magic Mask is I scroll through the timeline, you can see this little flicker over here is actually a lot better of selection than I did previously when I was working on the client project. You can see over here is a part of the original video that can, continues to flicker in and out. To get rid of that, I don't retract the Magic Mask. I use the Mask Paint node that I've talked about in this previous video. So I'm hitting Control Space. I'm actually gonna bring up a bitmap first. I'm gonna hold Shift and disconnect it from the Magic Mask and then add it within the pipeline here. That's gonna turn everything black and white. And then I'm gonna hit Control Space and type in Mask Paint. In the Inspector tab, I change the album from one to zero. This is basically gonna give me a black paintbrush. And then frame by frame, I can use the bracket keys to go left and right. I can just paint out the little part there where it pops up. I can also use a mask as well. So if I click on the magic mask and then go to polygon mask, if I wanted to, I can create a mask here in this spot since it's not too much motion. Then go over to the tab and change paint mode from merge to subtract. And it will just erase whatever that is over there. Now the thing I came up with, the workflow I developed while I'm doing this, I take my media one node and I'm gonna grab a merge node. I'm gonna take my media one and connect it to the background. Then I'm gonna take the output of this polygon mask and connect it to the foreground. Then I take the output of the merge and I'm gonna connect it to my media out. So now whatever corrections or whatever I'm painting or masking, I actually, actually can see it on top of my subject. So now if I select my paint node and I go through my timeline using the brackets, I can see here, it's part of the frame where it's constantly flickering. I can hold control and zoom in on that and then change the alpha of my paintbrush back to one, which is make it white and then I can paint that in. Now you have to do this from frame to frame. So a situation like this, while working on this for the client project, I went frame to frame because I wanted to make sure the cutouts that I create were precise. Also go in and clean up the things like this, which I can actually use a magic mask and go into matte and I can turn change the erode and the threshold to clean those edges. As you see, I actually went too far as it actually moved in. So I'm actually moving my erode the other direction, kind of broaden it out and then turn up the blur. The mass paint, you can clean this stuff up or you can actually use another polygon. I'm gonna click on the mass paint, grab another polygon. And then since there's not much motion here, I could just go through and basically make a little small mask here. It's gonna fill that in. And then just go every five to six frames and readjust this mask accordingly. So if I need to move it around, I can do that, which is actually a lot faster than using the paint node. It just depends on your subject and what you're trying to mask out. So I can just move this back a little bit here and it automatically create keyframes indicated by this little orange diamond here. So as a place, you see the mask is suddenly moving. Now, once I've made all my corrections, I can click on the merge node and go to the inspector tab on the operator, change it from over to mask. And now I have my subject rotoscoped out. Now, of course you need the studio version for this to use magic mask, but I'm also thinking about creating a edit page preset for this. So let me know in the comment section that some of you be interested in and I'll see you in the next video.